What is going on, guys? Spooky guy 444 here coming at you with a brand new unboxing. A new for 2024 unbox. What do you want? And today's unboxing is extremely, extremely special because not only is this, like I said, a new for 2024 unboxing, this is a professional animatronic unboxing. Very expensive, very pricey, but very big and very exciting. In March, I went to the Transworld and Halloween trading show and it was a fantastic time. I loved it so, so much. And fortunately, I was able to actually order something from one of my favorite companies at these places. That company is none other than Beastcraft based out of Ohio. And we're going to go downstairs and do a full unboxing of this thing in its full glory. It is an amazing piece. I'm super excited to show you guys this. It is going to be great in the haunt this year. Hit the link down below if you haven't heard about that yet. So without further ado, we're going to go do a time lapse. And I'm going to show you guys my brand new professional animatronic from Beastcraft. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the baby face shaker from Beastcraft. This animatronic is absolutely incredible and I cannot absolutely get enough of this thing either. I'm so happy I got what I got for what I paid. And now we're gonna go over a few pros and a few cons with some close up details just to really get you guys an idea of how fantastic this prop is. Here we go. The animatronic itself is extremely detailed making the hands and head out of complete foam filled latex with very good quality hair and not to mention a quality latex chest, which is a very odd choice, but it works with the design very nicely. The design in itself is of course a baby faced monster creature. I don't know, it's really creepy. It's super, super creepy actually. And I just absolutely love the look. Not only does it have latex teeth, it even has real fake teeth to make the details really pop even more. Along with that, we have a lot of gauze and some questionable material usage, which I will get to later. The prop runs on an Amon Duo controller, which comes with two solenoids and two valves, which I'm gonna talk about as well in the cons. But now back to the pros. The pros are the animation. This is an extremely violent animation prop with actually two animations which you might not know about. One being the air hose in the chest that causes these stringy things here to actually lash out at you. And then the rocking animation that I'm sure you might know this prop for. Very, very cool stuff. Like I said, the detail is fantastic, especially on the head with the fake teeth along with the latex sculpted teeth and just the baby face in general just looks super, super creepy. Now, one of my absolute favorite things about this animatronic is while it runs mainly off of one air cylinder, this thing has a large, large range of animation. One animation is this arm rocks, pretty cool. This arm rocks, pretty cool. And they're just on joints. There's nothing else going on with them. It is just a loose joint. Now the head is the really cool part. You can lift it up that way, that way and it tilts all the way on each end, really giving it that violent thrashing animation, which I absolutely adore on this piece. It is fantastic, hands down. But now for the cons that I have. One con being that this robe right down here is quite literally a bath towel. Now that isn't a complete knock as it does look fine. My issue is that really shows you how still early and homemade Beastcraft is as they've only started in the mid 2010s and are still running off a very, very small team of people. I would love to see Beastcraft really up it up and start using more production friendly materials instead of something like a Walmart bath towel. But other than that, the clothes are relatively fine. It has a sweater on the underside, but it works, but it's just black. Like you literally can't even tell. But other than that, she looks great and all the other details. There's so much detail we're put into the gauze itself. It's nice and distressed. It has a lot of character, has a lot of texture, and even that bathrobe towel at the bottom there it does look like it fits the character pretty, pretty nicely. My other con is actually how this thing is programmed. The air hose for the chest runs off of 120 PSI and the rocking runs off of a 60 PSI. Now, the weird thing is, is it's not on one thing, 
and while you could use an air splitter it's not as easy for a lot of people even professional haunters to get 180 psi air compressors they're just not that common and you'd need a really big professional grade tank as well to go with an already super expensive piece this piece retails for $2,100 now I did not pay that because fortunately I did get a discount for attending Transworld. Another con is just the reused hands, but every company does that. It's, it's just gonna happen. But either way, do I think that's worth it? Yeah, kind of, just because of the quality and she's relatively tall as well as you can see and there's a lot going on with her. However, I do think that there is a lot that could be changed. Like I said, the bath towel. I do think it should be running off of two solenoids, which is fine. However, it should be on one controlled valve if there's a way to do that, I would love to do that to her just to make this a lot more easier to manage instead of having to get two air compressors, which is what I have to do right now. Other than that, though, she is amazing. I'm still going to keep her. She is fantastic. The pros absolutely outweigh the cons. It looks it is the creepiest, scariest animatronic in my collection, hands down. And now let's get to a demo. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's little unboxing of one of my favorite animatronics in my collection now, hands down. If you want to learn more about Beastcraft, I will link their website down below. Give them a check out. If you have a budget for this kind of stuff, highly, highly recommend getting their products. But with that being said, I'm SpookyGuy444. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>